Девочки, у нас новый жених. Кэм – авиационный инженер. То есть представьте себе, человек из самых романтичных песен. Но это не все, чем занимается Кэм. Подробности будут в видео. Кэм очень серьезно настроен на семью. И он ищет девушку, которая разделит его страсть к путешествиям. Кэм, как вы сегодня? Я делаю хорошо. Как вы сегодня? Я очень Спасибо So, Спасибо Let's start our conversation. Uh, where do you live? I live in San Antonio, Texas. Great state of Texas, apparently. And right now you are there, right? Yes, I am. Yeah. Currently, so yeah. have you been living there all your life? A portion of my life, yes, but not all my life. I lived in Europe. I lived in parts of Africa for a bit and Asia as well. So, but home to me is where my family is, which is here. Yes, uh, uh, and I understand that you are very close with your family, right? Yeah, I mean, family is important to me, so yes, I am. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, they raised you and everything, and they are what brings me joy all the time. That's why I enjoy seeing them as much as I can. Right, and I know that uh, you are very close with your father. Yep, yep, because uh, he's the one who raised me. I mean, I didn't have a good relationship with my mom, but he's the one who made me to the person I am today, so I'm very close with him. Well, I understand that you know how to be a real man. I try to. <laughs> If it was a manual, it would be easy to read, but nah, I just make it up as I go. What do you do in your life? What do you do for living? I'm actually an aircraft engineer. Well, technically, I'm an aircraft mechanical engineer. All right. I design repairs and modifications for commercial and military aircraft or firm I work for. At the same time, too, I fix them. You know, that's, I do both jobs, so I wear many hats for the work I do. But the benefit of it is allow me to meet different people, the challenge. I always like to be challenged, but at the same time, too, the ability to travel. Usually when I go pick up these planes or deliver them, I get to meet different people, different culture, which is actually pretty good. You know, makes you appreciate the world the way it is when you go to these other places. You know, it sounds very romantic because all girls, they, they, they dream about this flying, pilot, traveling to different parts of our planet and all this sounds very romantic. Actually, I am currently training to get my pilot license because I always dream about having a plane and traveling to different countries, you know, travel around the world one day. But, you know, that's a dream I hopefully come true one day. Oh my God, this is a big dream. So you are you saying that you will fly yourself actually, you know, with <laughs> flying yourself? Of course. I mean, what the plane does is just gives you the freedom to go anywhere in the world, you know. I don't, I'm a person that don't just talk about it. I'm a person that's like, let's go somewhere new. And I'm all for that, you know? To me, I always think of like, pick up a map, close your eyes, pick somewhere, say, okay, that's where we're going and just have an adventure. You know, that's what life is, you know? Life is too short to be comforting, but always try something new. So why not take the, the you know, what I have at my disposal is to become a pilot and travel everywhere. So that's what I'm looking for. But hopefully to share that with somebody as well. Right, that, that's just amazing. That's amazing. And I know one more thing that amazes me so much that you, you are big in volunteering. Can you please tell us about this part of your life? Well, there were some things in my life that made me realize that, you know, you, you know, live your life, you know, so my philosophy is You only live life once when I do something great with it. So I am part of a nonprofit that we are currently working to transport shelter dogs from kill shelter states and non-kill shelter states. And because to me is uh, you have to start somewhere. Eventually we're looking to do humanitarian flights, helping from natural disasters to third world countries that need supplies. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what we're trying, not just me, but the group I'm with. So that's one part of it. Okay, I just want to make sure that our girls understand uh, what we were just talking about, so I will translate that part, okay? Uh, девочки Кэм живет uh, в Техасе. 
и он конструирует, чинит самолет и вертолет. И также большой кусок его жизни занимает участие в благотворительных мероприятиях. То, о чем он сейчас сказал, это просто достойно восхищения. Он сам организовывает полеты, он забирает животных, которые попали в приюты в Америке и которых уже должны ну, усыпить. Вы знаете, что в Америке все немножко по-другому, если в других странах приютах животных, бездомных животных могут содержать там всю жизнь, то в Америке, если волонтеры нашли бездомных животных, то они помещают mm -hmm. это животное в приют, но через какое-то время они этих животных просто усыпляют. И вот Кэм перевозит этих всех животных на самолетах в те страны, в которых им способны найти семью. Также Кэм рассказал о том, что он очень близок со своей семьей, он очень близок со своим отцом, который научил его быть настоящим мужчиной. Almost all over the world, right? And you know places that you would like to see. Why do you like that? Why do you want it? Well, I mean, for example, I'm in the US, there's a lot of great things to see, but there's not everything. And to me is I enjoy different people, different culture, especially the food. That's one of my passions, cooking, learning recipes. So when I go to these other countries, I always try to pick up one or two recipes that I enjoy and want to learn to cook. So you can cook. Oh yes, hard believe I can cook, you know. Oh my god, aren't you a perfect man? <laughs> well, I mean I have two choices. I can eat the fast food, which is disgusting, or try something where oh, I like to try Indian or I like to try Japanese or heck I want to try Brazilian, you know, Latin Latino food, you know, and be able to try that. But the back to your question on the traveling is Just to see the different culture, the history, the architect, you know, the way people live, you know, it's just amazing, you know, that even though we're far away, we're living on the same planet and there's so many different diversities, just unbelievable, but yet we're all people. Right. I mean, we're all the same at the end, if you think of it. It's just amazing how the different backgrounds, you know, it's just amazing how about it. Especially I love the different museums. I enjoy going to see I mean, when I was in Minsk uh, years ago, I remember spending a day to a famous monument, and it was just spectacular just seeing how the different cultures, the uh, history of that. Or when I was in uh, Senegal, you know, about the history of the tribe leaders and everything. It's just amazing how, yet, we live in the same planet, but so many different. You could just go to even just, even then your next state over. How much different it is it's just what's amazing that's why i like to travel you know? thank you so much i will translate it to our group я спросила у кэма почему он любит путешествовать так много и он сказал что во первых ну это была такая шутка да во первых он очень любит пробовать еду разных стран и то что он пробует он привозит с собой рецепты домой и умеет очень хорошо готовить. Индийская это кухня, азиатская это кухня. Он умеет готовить много чего, потому что он привез эти рецепты с собой. Из разговора я поняла, что он придерживается здорового образа жизни, он не любит есть костру, а готовит все здоровую еду. Путешествия, как сказал Кэм, развивают его душу, а у него, поверьте, девочки, очень большая, глубокая душа, и с ним всегда есть о чем поговорить. Он очень любит посещать музеи, изучать разные культуры. И он сказал, что, конечно, у нас у всех абсолютно разное воспитание, абсолютно разные традиции, абсолютно разные обычаи, но вместе с этим мы все люди, мы все люди на планете Земля, и очень приятно э, знакомиться и общаться э, с людьми из разных культур. Uh, so, Cam, tell me, please, how do you see your future life, like, let's say, in five years, maybe? Five years. 
besides world domination, I don't think that's going to be possible, but <laughs> I'm actually, um, well, I'm at to a point in my life where I'm looking to sell down, but I'm not just going to sell down. I'm looking for someone who see the good person I am and wants to have a life with me where I could see doing something together, maybe open a little, you know, small uh, family business together, but definitely children and definitely, yes, the traveling is great, but to share with someone experience, that's one big thing. I mean, one, one dream of mine is the day kids are involved, you know, and they go to school and they want to learn something, you know, like they talk about, you know, somewhere, something about India, you know, history. I say, why not just read a book? Let's go over there and see it, experience it so that they can actually embrace it. You know, I always want to give them an opportunity that I never had the chance when I was a kid. So, but I definitely see a, how be making a, not just making, maybe building a home together or somewhere either with the mountains or somewhere in the beach side, you know. Doesn't matter where we add, it's just something wonderful together. But that's what I see myself. OK, let me translate this. OK. Я спросила у Кэма, как он видит свою идеальную жизнь через пять лет. И он сказал, что он абсолютно готов создать семью. Он ищет партнера, девушку, жену которая будет любить его за то, кто он есть. И он полюбит ее за то, кто она есть. Он э, хочет иметь детей, он хочет построить вместе дом, возможность создать еще какой-то э, семейный бизнес вместе. И, конечно же, большую часть совместной жизни будут занимать путешествия. Он сказал, что, например, если дети пойдут в школу и узнают что-то новое на уроках об Индии, он обязательно им скажет, почему только читать. Давайте просто поедем все вместе в Индию и посмотрим, как там люди живут на самом деле. Он ищет э, хорошие, теплые, доверительные, полные любви отношения, которые продятся всю жизнь. Окей. Okay. So, maybe, maybe you have to one of girls who is watching right now our video. Well, if I meet this girl who gives me a chance, you know, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a amazing guy that will sweep you up your feet and everything like that, I'm not that type of guy. If you want someone that is goofy, you know, smart, intelligent, but will care about who you are, enjoy your personality, and accept you for unconditionally the personality that you have and will always care about you unconditionally who wants to spend a life with you and will treat you right from no matter if in our age at our current age to the day we're old and gray i'm the type of guy okay so. thank you so much i will translate that yes priscilla came uh... Хотел бы он что-то сказать для той девушки, которая сейчас смотрит видео. И он сказал, что он ищет девушку, с которой он сможет создать семью, с которой отношения продлятся до конца жизни. Он ищет безусловную любовь, которую он может подарить той, которая примет его таким, какой он есть. That's amazing, Cam. Thank you so much for opening your soul to us and i know that it is a lot to talk about i know that your soul is so big and that you are a very strong man so thank you so much for this conversation of course of course i have my story and i'm happy to tell them more in person but not just talking about it but showing it right thank you no problem you're welcome <laughs>